What's, What's up, y'all? I'm Josh. And I'm Avery. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to get more work for your junk removal and hauling business. So make sure you watch to the end of the video. And as always, go ahead and like and subscribe. We've been getting this question a lot. How do we get work? You know we tell you all the lead platforms we use, but today we're gonna to talk about a free way to get more work for your drunk removal business. Now the best thing about these methods that we're about to tell you is that it gives you reoccurring work. So during the times where you don't wanna pay a lot for ads or you're not even running ads or you can't afford to pay for leads right now, these will be the best ways to get jobs. Now the first way is to get in contact with realtors, property managers, apartment complex, you name it. Get in front of these businesses and these people and market yourself out to them because these are people that reoccurringly need these services. Whenever you make a relationship with a realtor or a property manager, you have future work for free. You know whenever you're running ads or you're doing leads, you're paying consistently for it. So just simply reaching out to a high number, like you can't just reach out to one, you have to reach out to multiple. And whenever you score a relationship with one of them, you have work in the future for free. This week we didn't have anything on the schedule and one of the property managers we worked for reached out and set us up. So we had nothing on the board and we ended up having a job just by having a relationship. All right, now some of you all may be asking, how do I actually reach out to them and get these jobs? So the first way that you can do it is by email marketing. We actually have a template where we walk y'all through email marketing to property managers and different businesses. So. That's the first step, just reaching out through email. If you want to take it a step farther, you can go out in person. Now, I will be honest, this is a numbers game. You're going to be reaching out to a lot of property managers. You're going to be getting a lot of maybes and okays. But when you do score one, I promise you that it will pay you all tenfold. Remember, this is a numbers game. So don't say, oh, I reached out to five and it didn't work. No, go reach out to 20, 25, 30. And yeah. In a week. In a week on reoccurring and it's going to be hard i'm telling you this now because property managers already have people that they're working with but if you reach out to enough it may be that one that you get that supplies you with work reoccurringly for free remember what i said this week we had nothing on the schedule but the property managers we did work for reached out and had us come through and when you do a good job they can refer you to your next property manager or to the next realtor so that's one method now method number two is going to be making a Google My Business profile. This is actually how we got the job we're going to be doing today. The realtor reached out to us after she seen our Google page and seen that we had a good review. So whenever you make a Google My Business profile, you're putting your business online. You need an online presence because you may get lucky and have someone reach out to you if you've been doing this for enough time. So making a Google My Business profile just gives you the opportunity to be seen because remember, people are Googling this. People are looking up where to get junk removal at or a junk removal near me. So simply having a Google business page, which is free, can put you in front of potential realtors and property managers. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. If you think that, cause I know some people don't like to talk on the phone, yeah. don't wanna do the work of email marketing and doing that. If you think that just creating your Google My Business profile is gonna be enough, I'm telling you right now, that's not it. Yeah, do do a, do like a mix. Like, all right, let's say you have your Google My Business profile that you send out a bunch of emails to property managers and they can see your Google page and your reviews. This is giving you, you know, more of more credibility just by having it. Like she said, you can't just make a Google My Business page and people reach out to you. You have to be posting on there, getting good reviews and so forth. And another thing you want to keep in mind is <clears throat> these are professionals and business people that you're reaching out to so they're probably going to be looking for you to be licensed and insured yeah, sure. yes. so if you're not a legitimate uh if you're not a legitimate business and you're just a contractor looking to get extra work yes. this wouldn't be for you yeah because remember these are people these are property managers they manage multiple properties and they are in charge of making sure things that are done right so if you're not professional and you're not insured or licensed like she said your chance of getting a job is very low. Whenever the first property manager reached out to us, we already had a Google page, insurance, and an LLC. So we were able to answer and be like, yes, we own our own business. We offer these services and we can get it done. Another way that you can start getting in front of these property managers and real estate agents is 
by doing a Google search. So if you look up on Google um, apartments vendor list, vendors list, um, if you look up property management companies vendors list, look up things like that, you will see different companies in your area that actually have a list of vendors yes. that they outsource to their clients or to mm. the people that they're selling homes to to get this work done. So if you just do a quick Google search, you will be able to apply for these lists. Now, wow. um, some of these lists you do have to pay for, like there's big companies that you actually have to pay to be on their list because you're gonna actually get work. It might be $500 to be on there. It might be $300 to be on there for the um, to apply to be on their list. But there also are some free ones. Mm -hmm. And um, along with that, you can call uh, apartment complexes near you if you don't see them on that Google search and just simply ask them if they have a vendors list that you can get on. Yes, exactly. And again, with this as well, it is a numbers game. Please do not watch this video and go Google up local vendor and reach out to one person and they say it doesn't work. We're telling you this is a numbers game. Remember, there's already professional companies that are already doing this. So they already reached out, they're already working with them. It's your job to reach out to as many as possible just to increase your likelihood. And as she said, that was a paid way. So of course, if you pay, more than likely you'll be able to get in front of more people. But still take advantage of the free opportunities because we have relationships with property managers for free that we have gained without paying anything. There are property managers and um, people like that who we have gotten work for from off of places like Thumbtack, Yelp Leads, yes. Google Ads. So don't discount the paid advertising or the pay per lead programs yeah. because you can't find them there too. So mm. just come in full circle and applying for the uh, lead programs, applying for the vendors list. Making and a then, Google profile. Yeah, making the Google profile and also just reaching out to them. It's yes. all gonna come together yes. to like make your list bigger and get you more jobs for free that you don't have to pay for in the long term. That's You said that so well. That's exactly how it works because one of the property managers we got, it was from a Yelp lead. So I paid for a lead. She was looking for someone to do it, got the lead, and then she turned into a forever customer. We're like on our sixth job from her. So someone that wasn't willing to pay for the leads didn't end up getting it. Now, of course, you could have gotten lucky and reached out to her at the time that she needed it done, but you'll never know. So definitely take advantage of the pay platforms too. I feel like you have the best chance of getting as much work as possible if you take advantage of all the platforms pay leads advertisement and free outreach yeah and like you said it's a numbers game so yes. what it really comes down to is how many times is this property manager going to see your ad or how mm. many times are you going to get in front of them how many times are you going to email them yes. call them it's mm. really a numbers game so the more exposure you can have the more likely you are to win these types of clients wow couldn't have said it better more exposure putting yourself out there more if you don't say what you do or no one knows then you just won't get work it's just that simple but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and take you guys with us on a job that we got from our property manager let's get we just arrived to the job as i told y'all we were going to be taking you guys with us on a job for our property manager we're going to be doing a full house clear out we're doing two trailer loads worth and we're charging 760. some of the things that i like about working for property managers is that when we do these jobs they're usually not there so no one's here right now and we got the full house to ourselves and another thing that I like is jobs for property managers are usually big jobs. Like today's job is a two trailer load clear out. So easy money, man. Let's get it. We blessed up on this job. It's actually a light job. I'm not going to walk through everything yet. The only thing that I don't like about doing jobs for property managers is most of them have to pay you by check net 30. And what that means is from the day you do it, you have to wait right around 30 days before you receive the payment. Now that does suck, but I mean, for a long-term relationship, it ends up being worth it. Yes, you do have to wait for your pay sometimes, but you get access to jobs for free without having to pay for leads. But this one specifically, though, she paid, she's going to pay us today by check because we worked out a little deal. Fine, first, and then... Oh. Hey. Hey. Make sure y'all get in the weight room. If y'all going to do job removal, make sure y'all get in the weight room, man. Hey. Just like that. That was five minutes, guys. Garage, check to the next room. Honestly, not that much big stuff at this job. 
Just these couches and a few dressers. We're gonna be done with this in no time. Slight work. Let's see. We forgot we gotta load all the big stuff to the back first. That. Uh, oh. Smoking Joe's up here. Hmm. It's a different smell in here. We finished loading up all of the heavy stuff. If no one told you, whenever you're loading a trailer, you have to load all of the heavy stuff to the back. Just so that you're safely towing, you don't have a lot of sway going on. So everything is loaded. All the heavy stuff is loaded to the back, and we're about to go ahead and bag and tag the rest. Yo, these house, this house is really nice, guys. Can I see it? Oh, some quick things. Whenever you're doing full clear outs, remember, property managers want you to clear out all of the cabinets, all of the drawers, and the refrigerator always. That is a must. Because what we're doing is we're part of the process of this house getting put back on the market. So everything has to be cleared up. Make sure you remember that. Oh! Oh man, I'm, I'm blessing up today. I got me some, I got some uh, curtains, some soap. Yeah, I'm taking all this shit home. Yeah. Look, whenever we do these jobs and we come across nice houses like this, like this is a nice house. I wish like y'all could see everything, but I'm not gonna go through every room. It's very clean. We definitely keep stuff and we resell stuff. That's the blessing in drunk from the book. Down, we're saying hook. Security bag. <laughs> oh shit, that's a fat ass damn house here. This this be the drawer in every one house that no one uses because you can't reach it. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> went ahead and finished downstairs it was fairly quick we kind of were just messing around because this is a very light job so we're really about to just bag and tag the rest and i'm just going to pick back up when we're done with the job we finished out the job it took us a total of three hours it was a light job it kind of took us long because we was messing around but we ended up blessing up the property manager came and dropped off the check so we don't even have to wait 30 days i'm really happy about that so 760 i'll put a little pop up of just the amount on here for you guys to end it out and you know that's it guys see y'all at the top ain't about me average i just pick up the phone keep counting and adding keep counting and stacking i made the money up here like this shit was some magic stay down be raised and one day you might get the key to the action when i walk in the store they gonna show me some love